I grew up in New York and I was um, involved in art from basically the beginning of my life. Um, I have an artistic family. Um, part of it is um, music family. My grandmother was an opera singer. My father was a musician, a conductor. And on my mother's side, they were the art artistic uh, side. Her father was a sculptor and carpenter. And her, his brother was one of the original Mad Men. In fact, on the last season of Mad Men, they kept talking about the guy that had the Buick account for McCann Erickson, and, and I kept waiting for them to say my uncle's name because that was his account. So that was like the great white whale was to have that account. Um, so, and my and her other uncle um, was um, the leading um, authority, or early pioneer of um, psychology on creativity. So um, right from an early age, I was involved with this um, very uh, dynamic um, family and introduced to the arts. My father became, um, he created one of the first regional arts um, foundations, or you know, uh, a, uh, the Rockland Count, uh, Council on the Arts, um, to de uh, redistribute funds that came from NEA and from the state. And um, Rockland County was a big um, artist community area. And, um, John Cage lived there and um, other artists and actors. And um, my father produced a lot of concerts. Um, grew up going to con John Cage um, concerts, uh, going to um, uh, Paul Taylor dances. And um, my favorite was when he produced um, uh, Count Basie uh, concert, and I got to sit on the um, piano bench with Count Basie. So, you know, so it was a, a great opportunity. I was, it's interesting even being in an art family, and, you know, they knew I loved making art, but they didn't realize that it was anything special about that until my second grade teacher, art teacher, pointed out to my parents that I should be getting art instruction. And um, they immediately put me into a children's art program, um, but I decided it wasn't serious enough for me. And very soon they put me into the adult program, and um, I progressed beyond that and was given private instruction until I was old enough to take the bus in every Saturday to the Art Students League in New York. Isaac Sawyer was still there, yeah. and I'm, I actually my first art history paper was on social realism. And I was able to actually do an interview with Isaac Sawyer for my report. We, um, I remember we went to the, uh, the Art Students League's cafeteria on the top floor. We had tuna fish sandwiches. And I got to interview him and, and wrote all about um, the uh, social realists.